Welcome to our video presentation of Rational Developer for Z with EGL. As you may know, in the MVS file system there are no real file extensions. Rational Developer for Z has a system to enable us to give files a virtual extension. It's file system mapping. Uh, to start the presentation, we go to our Rational Workbench. We switch to the ZOS Project Perspective and we look for the ZOS file system mapping view. By default, there are quite a few mappings that are provided by RDZ. Now let me take one example. If you happen to name an MVS data set so that the last part of the name is the word COBOL, all the members in that data set will be mapped with a CBL extension, a virtual extension. In our case, we wanted to map a file a system extension for a data set that already exists prior to starting with RDZ. So what we do is we can right click on the first mapping and we want to add a data set mapping. The name of our data set is lab.rdz.source. That's where our COBOL source code is stored. Now, from that, we right-click on that new data set mapping, and we add a member mapping. In this case, all of the files, which is represented by an asterisk, are going to be COBOL files. So we give it a CBL extension. Now, that maps suddenly uh, all of the members in our data set for a COBOL source code have the proper CBL extension. One thing we want to do is we want to increase the priority so that our customized uh, mappings are the first in the list. The next thing we want to do is we want to add a data set mapping for our JCL and it happens to be lab.rdz.jcl live and then add a member mapping so that all the files in that data set are given a virtual JCL extension. So that is pretty much how you deal with file system mapping in RDZ. Thanks for watching.